Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to help you to determine if SeOF2 is polar or non-polar molecule. And to find that out, we are first going to look at its Lewis structure. So if you look over here, selenium atom is forming two single bonds with two fluorine atoms and one double bond with oxygen atom. And besides that, selenium also has a lone pair of electron attached to it. Now the second factor that we consider while determining the polarity is the electronegativity value of all the atoms and then we find out the difference between them. So the electronegativity value of fluorine is 4, for oxygen it is 3.44 and for selenium it is 2.55. If you calculate the difference it is more than 0.4 which makes both the bonds that is selenium oxygen and selenium fluorine bonds polar. If you look at the molecular structure it is trigonal pyramidal and the bond pairs here are pulled downwards because of the repulsion force exerted by lone pair of electrons, which breaks the symmetry of molecule and pushes the fluorine and oxygen bonds away from it. And as the electronegativity of fluorine and oxygen is more, it will tend to pull the electron cloud towards itself more than selenium. And here, there will be a dipole moment and the vector of which will be towards fluorine atom in selenium fluorine bond and towards oxygen atom in selenium oxygen bond. So there is a dipole moment in this molecule which is not nullified in any way and due to this dipole moment uh, there will be uneven charge distribution of charges where the region around fluorine atom and oxygen atom will be partially negative in nature and the region around selenium atom will be partially positive. So there are formation of poles in this molecule which makes SeOF2 polar. For more such videos make sure to subscribe our channel and thank you for watching.